doing it again. Huh. Thank goodness. Uh, we have been working our butts off for uh, two weeks, and the guys have two, and the dogs have two, and we're there again. Um, it looks like it could be an easy job handling a dog, being a dog handler. You get to take your dog on the plane. You get to, you know, take your dog to work every day. You get to, um, you know, who does who does the press want to talk to? The dog handler, right? That's it. But I can't tell you how difficult these two weeks are. I mean, they're full of fun and, you know, camaraderie and all that, but it's hard. I mean, it really is difficult, and there's a lot of things you have to learn um, or relearn, and uh, because everything that you do, the tone of your voice, the way that you stand, where you put your hands, um, which foot you step off with, with your dog, all those things have to be correct. And you've only got two weeks to figure it out. And you have a different dog every day for the first week. I mean, that's a lot. Uh, but every, every time we have a course around Friday, we're like, Oh my God, how is this going to work, right? <laughs> We've only got a week left. And uh, about Tuesday of the second week, uh, it all just falls into place. Um, so these guys uh, have been working really, really hard and um, done an amazing job, and they've earned it. You know, everybody that comes into this course doesn't graduate. It's not a given. You have to do the work. You have to have the connection with the dog and the right attitude and um, patience and uh, wanting to get it right. And these guys all stepped up and did it. And um, it's pretty amazing. So you'll get to meet them here shortly. Uh, as George was saying, I am probably the luckiest girl in the world. Um, I was doing this, training dogs and, and working dogs for free. No, not for Jim. Not for Jim. <laughs> right? <laughs> married to Jim, if you don't know that, but, uh, um, but, you know, I was doing this for free, you know, as, as a volunteer handler and trainer um, for a long, long time, and I got this offer to come here and do it and get a paycheck, you know, and I live on property uh, with my husband, Jim, who is the property manager, and um, it's, it's just a great place to be. I mean, living the dream, right? working with amazing people that are all so dedicated, you know, to this work. And on the only place in the United States or the world that is dedicated to training disaster search dogs um, to this level, uh, um, which are, the level that we're training at is, is, is sets the bar, I'm not gonna lie. Um, and we're very proud to have that opportunity and to do this every day. Um, I would like to introduce to you uh, two of our uh, trainers that are amazing. We have the most amazing team. Emily is not here today. She was in a wedding, so she couldn't, um, she, it was set up a long time ago. Um, but we have Liz Gregory and Mandy Tisdale. Mandy is a new trainer and she is amazing as Liz is. Liz was here actually before I was. So, um, you guys want to say anything? I'll keep it short. Um, just want to say this is another amazing group. They've worked super hard with these dogs. Um, every dog's a little Even different, but these dogs are definitely people. a little tougher than others, awesome. but these handlers um, have um, really stepped up for these dogs, and it's going to be a really nice group. These guys have worked really hard um, over the last couple of weeks, and for me personally, being the most recent trainer, um, first this is my first dog that I trained for this program, so I'm pretty pretty proud to be here and happy to be part of this organization. Every day, whether it's well, it's never raining, but uh, whether it's 110 degrees or or whatever, I mean, every day, you know, along with the canine care specialists and everybody else, but we're out there in in the elements, um, and uh, there's no better place to be. These dogs, they come in here just lost and having no connection, and they leave here. Well, you'll get to see them. It's pretty outstanding. So, let's, would you like to meet them? Yeah? yeah? All right. Come on, guys.
I just wanted to say uh, thank you for this opportunity. Uh, this is the third dog I've had from the foundation. And uh, it's just amazing. Uh, the trainers, the staff here for what they do and producing such great dogs. It's, it's great. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. This is, uh, I'm Clint, as you did here in Georgia. Uh, my journey uh, started through those gates. <laughs> through those gates about two weeks ago, and uh, it's been totally memorable. Uh, we put the Handler's Lodge, was the first one ever to stay here, if you didn't know that. As well as just all the crops, everything here is just a, a wonderland for dog lovers and dogs themselves. And so now my journey heads out with beautiful, sweet Georgia. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it just, it's just been awesome. And I you know, want to say a special thanks to uh, my fire chief came out here, James Geary. Uh, Linda York, who is a big sport. And then most of all, my family. Uh, appreciate it. Good morning, everybody. Uh, I'm, I'm Joe. This is uh, Dora. Uh, I just want to say thanks to uh, everybody here. Uh, you guys made this absolutely uh, memorable uh, two, two weeks. So uh, thank you to my task force for allowing us the opportunity to, to be out here. And uh, thanks, you guys. Thank you. Good morning. Uh, my name is Vinny Pichel with the Sacramento Task Force. And I've got the distinct pleasure of partnering up with Hank. Um, thinking about uh, these last two weeks and the uh, time it took for us to make it to this point, it's been amazing. Um, I can't thank enough uh, those that have paved our way. Um, I'm living your dream now, and I can't thank you enough. enough. Um, you're allowing us to intervene with uh, so many other lives and actually change generations from the work that we can do. So. Thank you for allowing me to be a part of that. Oh, watch it. <laughs> My dear boy. This is the only one we have. <laughs> All right. Well, how about a big round of applause for uh, our new graduates? graduation ceremony and this is the highlight of every part of every course for us so I'm going to tell you a little bit more about, about these teams and Liz is going to start with Bender and Aidy Barba so the vest represents that these canine recruits are no longer in training they have graduated and are now search dogs. <laughs> Fender is two and a half years old and he was recruited from Southern Oregon Humane Society in Medford, Oregon by Kirsten Folk. You heard her name earlier. And he had been owner surrendered to the Humane Society. It was actually a staff member there who's familiar with SDF who identified his ball craziness obsession for the toy and gave us a jingle. So Kirsten went on over there and agreed, yes, he is the one for us. And just as Fender gets his vest, Battalion Chief A.D. Barbat receives a lanyard, which now is added to his uniform. The, uh, the colored bands there on the lanyard represent the team's milestones. So each team is going to be earning an orange band with the year 2017, which represents the year, of course, that they were paired. 
and each colored band represents a different milestone. So certification, deployment, and eventually retirement. Uh, as was mentioned earlier, AD has been with SDF as an SDF handler for over a decade now, and Fender is his third canine partner. So he has numerous fans for uh, representing his career. So congratulations, AD and Fender. Next is Search Dog Georgia. Georgia is a two-year-old German short hair pointer. You might notice she's the only pointer up here today because it's not a breed that we find particularly successful in this field. However, for some reason, someone felt she had the energy and spunk to do this job well. And she has gone through the program <laughs> very swiftly. In fact, we had to try to slow her down. You might be able to pick up that. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. She was given the name Georgia by, uh, by staff here because she is the first dog that we have ever recruited from the state of Georgia. She's been picked up as a stray from the Union County Sheriff's Office Animal Control in Blairsville. <laughs> she is sponsored by Jeff and Mary Kroll. <laughs> and now, firefighter paramedic Ken Chubby of the Chula Vista Fire Department receives his lanyard. Next man, Sonia. <laughs> characteristics and gave us a call. So we are very grateful for that. She is going to be starting this new journey with engineer Joe Zacher. <laughs> Sonia, you may go ahead and put the lanyard on Joe of San Diego Fire Rescue. Last but certainly not least, from California, Tactical 7 in Sacramento. Search Dog Hank will be joining the task force. <laughs> he likes his food. He's Hank was recruited from Second Chance Pups in Lincoln, Nebraska by canine recruiter Sheila Stern, who's a handler herself on Nebraska Task Force 1. And Second Chance Pup Rescue is actually a program um, at the Nebraska State Penitentiary. It is where inmates work with special dogs, special cases with their local shelter. And the dogs are brought in to be trained in basic obedience in order to help them become more adoptable in family homes. So it, the program does two things. Obviously, it, it helps the dogs to hopefully find their way in life, as, as Hank has done here. And it's also good for the inmates themselves as a part of a rehabilitation process. And Hank, of course, has been paired with firefighter Vincent Buccella. Thank you. Thank you. 
Then he is with the El Dorado County Fire Protection District. Well, I had, I had to change the teams here recently. In the My Sacramento. apologies. Vinny, where do you, where do you work? I work for the Sacramento Fire Department today. Excellent. Thank you for joining us here today. Thank you. Sorry about that. Um, all right, well, we have a big round of applause for all these teams. And um, we do have a few sponsors that I just wanted to point out. They're not here with us, but um, each of these dogs has sponsors and guardians. And, you know, they're they're donors and supporters of the Search Dog Foundation, but they become a part of these dogs' lives. And we call them their dog family members. But I just wanted to, to give a little honor to them. The Joel and Dina Gambord Charitable Foundation has sponsored both Fender and Dora. Hank has the sponsors J.C. Speck and Teddy Armstrong, and a guardian named Karen Camp. And then, last but certainly not least, Georgia is going to be sponsored by Jeff and Mary Kroll. So we're very honored to have them in our lives. And I wanted to point out a couple special people who are in the audience as well. I know they've already been mentioned, but I think they deserve a little extra credit. And the first is Captain Linda Diorsi. She's... <laughs> with her canine partner, Haley, who you might have already met. They are FEMA certified and did recently deploy following Hurricanes Harvey and Irma. And Haley is actually Linda's second search dog. Her first search dog, Cody, um, was a, a cherished, she, sorry, cherished companion and, uh, and best friend of hers for many, many years. So Haley is her second search dog and Though they've been partnered and certified, Linda actually came here to support her task force members, and she went through the entire two-week course oh, with them. Wow. And she is, uh, is, is special. <laughs> so we appreciate your support. It's part of the program, and, and of course, of these guys up here, because support is important. And uh, <laughs> Georgia says, thank you. <laughs> And then I also wanted to thank Chief James Geary, sitting next to her. He is the fire chief for Chula Vista Fire Department, of which Linda and Clint are members. And so thank you very much, Chief. We appreciate you coming. And thank you so much. And as Wilma uh, always says, it takes a village. So <laughs> it certainly takes one here. We've essentially built a village here. And I just wanted to take a moment and recognize Donald Cannon. Would you mind standing? Donald, oh, he's already standing. He's waving to you. Hello. And he's a true Dodgers fan. He's wearing the cap even though we didn't have a great week. <laughs> um, today, Donald is representing the Grace Ford Salvatore Foundation. So we greatly appreciate you being here. And they've been supporters of ours since 2002. Search dog Hank. Oh. Search dog Hank has been named in honor of Donald's father, who passed away just last year. And on behalf of all of us and the search teams, we'd like to thank the Salvatore Foundation for everything that you've done for us over the years. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the ceremony. If you could join me in giving these new teams a great big round of applause. So we're going to take pictures for...